exactly how I got scammed on TikTok. So just this week, as I was scrolling through TikTok, I saw this ad on how you can earn money from home. This advertisement is a scam and yes, it's on TikTok. So please watch out for it. I was curious thinking that it's a work from home opportunity. So I clicked into it. It brought me to a landing page. And after clicking the landing page, it brought me to a WhatsApp chat with someone. I inquired and was told they were hiring affiliate marketers for e-commerce platforms such as Shopee and Lazada. I immediately knew it was fake. E-commerce platforms such as Shopee will not go through you directly on WhatsApp. They will at least have an official email application. But my curiosity just wanted to see what shady things they were up to. So I played along. And that's why I say I somehow deserve it. So they invited me to a chat group with about 10 plus people. Mostly they were fake people associated with each other. They were just sending daily messages like, how are you? How are you doing? And they even sent pictures to make it look pretty real. So after joining the group, they sent me a customer service number for me to contact. And this is where the scam ends. So I contacted the customer service and they sent me a list of instructions for the first task. First, I'll click on the link they sent me. It'll bring me to a product page on Shopee. I'll add that product into my shopping cart and I'll not proceed with the checkout. Instead, I'll take a screenshot of it and send it to them. So instead of paying on the platform, I was told to send the money to another bank account and they would send me back the money plus 10% more. The first product was $49. I was thinking they can't be scamming me $49, so I sent them $49. And they actually sent me back $53.90. I was pretty surprised. The second product cost $189, so I sent them the money and they sent me back $207. This time they got me, I was convinced. I was even doing the math at how easy this was. It's not even 10 minutes of work. So it was quite obvious at this point, my curiosity became greed. What made it worse was they promoted me to VIP for being so efficient, right? And they said that instead of 10%, we're going to give you 20%. I was... Wow, no way. I got excited and carried on with the third transaction. The third transaction was $289. But this time, they couldn't refund me. They said there was a system error. VIPs need to complete three consecutive transactions in a row to receive their payout. I was really shocked, so I said, okay, send me the next product. The fourth product was $699. At the top of my head, I knew that at this rate, I might not be able to pay for the fifth product after $699. So I told them, could I receive back my money first? They said, nope. I said, but I won't have enough money. So they said, try to borrow money first to make for this transaction. After this transaction, you will try to request for a refund. I was already $289 invested into this. So it was definitely very tempting for me to continue with this. So I made the transfer of $699. And guess what? They said, there was another system error. Couldn't refund me my money. And when I heard that, I was like, that's it. I was already close to $1,000 invested and I will not be digging a bigger hole for myself. So I went to Google Shopee scam. I didn't know why I didn't do this earlier, but the first article I saw, full-time national serviceman being scammed $6,700 with the same exact story. Shopee afraid marketers, transferring to bank account, the product keep increasing in price and then they receive errors. They couldn't pay back. So knowing this, it was obvious that I was getting myself into a very big scam. So I tried my luck and confronted the scammer. Follow me for part 2 to find out exactly how I got scammed on TikTok. Part 2. So I tried my luck and confronted the scammer. I said, I know it's a scam, refund me my money now. So they, they, they said, what scam? Please watch your words. So I said again, I know this is a scam, refund me my money now and I will not make a police report. You know what they said? Please don't be rude here. If you're going to make a police report, go ahead. We're going to make a police report on our side as well. I was pretty shocked, a scammer wants to make a police report against me, so I was... That's it. The convo ended, I immediately went to call my bank, okay, told them I was involved in an online scam, they told me to make a police report, so I went to call the police, I told the police I was involved in an online scam, they told me I have to go down to the police station and lodge a police report. So I went down to the police station to lodge a police report, and yeah, now we are waiting. So during the whole process, as I was liaising with different police officers, I was told that this previously happened on Lazada platform, currently it's happening on Shopee. And they really told me it's the scam of the month. Or many people already got scammed. And it's happening throughout Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong and China. So it's a pretty big scam. So for my case, my investigation officer already told me that the bank account that I was transferring money to was already frozen way before I even made the first transaction. So I was hoping that maybe I had a good chance of receiving my money back. Throughout the process, I've asked different people what are the chances I can receive my money back. They always said there's no guarantee, but through past experiences, it probably takes about six to one year to receive the money back. I screen recorded the entire process between me and the scammer, hoping that it could help the investigation officer. They said don't need, they had enough info. If they require any, they will contact me again. Really wanting to help, I asked the investigation officer, is it okay if I create a video about this to spread awareness or will it hinder the investigation process? The next thing he said made me quite sad. He said, yeah, it's fine. You can create a video about this, All right? We have enough uh, scam alert awareness campaign going on already. He said at the end of the day, it's about how much awareness you can bring compared to the scammers. And I was, when I heard that, I was quite sad. I was like, yeah, that's so true, that's so true. They were buying ads all over the social media platforms. I don't think they're just on TikTok, they're probably on Facebook, Instagram. I don't know where they are, but 
they're probably in many places. And even though what he said was very true, I at least wanted to do something small on my part to spread awareness about this, at least on this app alone. Can you imagine that this is happening across four different countries? Singapore, Malaysia, China, Hong Kong. Wow. I'm now just waiting for investigations to carry out and hope I have good news from this. So well, that's all for my initial encounter with scammers. It all happened within the same day, but when I thought it was all over, the scammers actually saw my video and they contacted me. So yeah, there's definitely a part 3 to this. And since you guys really want me to get into the details, right? I really need another video to sum all of this up. And hopefully it could be the last video because I don't think we want to keep dragging this. And also I'll be taking some time to answer the questions in the comments and possibly answer all the frequently asked questions in the next video. Thank you for sticking around. I really think it was a decent effort. And it's great to hear that we have prevented some people from getting into it. Lastly, I hope this video can spread more awareness by showing you... 